my first time making fudge. This is all part of a big weekend here in Boyne City, chocolate-covered Boyne. <laughs> Obviously, we, we're, we're starting everything off here at Kilman. Okay, I'm doing such a bad no, job. Are you taking come, it away? You might come over here. Okay, keep <laughs> going. Push down there. So usually what I do is I try to do such a bad job that you just end up taking it away, whatever I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to be <laughs> Okay, so just keep going. Yes. It looks like it's ready to eat. I don't know why we need to keep going. It looks delicious. Uh, Steph, maybe you want to get a shot of some of the stuff that's finished. Oh, though, I which just stick my finger. In. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Is that legal? Can I just? Mm. Yeah, we have gloves on. We have, yeah, we do. We've got the beautiful purple gloves too, which totally match my outfit. All right, so we're going to be spending all morning out here at Kilwins. We've got a lot of people from Boyne City who are coming by. We're going to show you more delicious treats that they've going, got going on this weekend. Gail is about to fire me right now. No, no. No, okay. No, but i got to keep working, Scott and Robin, because uh, there's this new rule at Kilwins. If you make it, you get to eat it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. Look, look, look what happened. She just she took the paddle away immediately. <laughs> and now she's actually doing real work here. So you're right. I'm going to stick the whole microphone, Scott and Robin. So these are the people who are on deck for the next interview session. Tom Heath is going to play the violin and deliver flowers. And Marty Moody brought uh, chocolate treats that they're making. And John Bottel from Beyond Borders brought uh, chocolate-looking gold jewelry. So stay tuned.